Good bloody day, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. It is currently Thursday, which means Thirsty Thursday. So bottoms up, boys and girls. Today, I got a little bit of something different. Instead of doing a device review, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a juice review. This is Loon Nick Salts, brewed here right in Minnesota. I know it's backwards, so I do apologize for that. This is a strawberry banana, and they come in 60 milligram. And according to my shop, which I don't know how much I really believe everything he said, he said they might be trying to come out with some kind of like a 100 milligram, but that sounds complete bullshit. It's probably going to be like in a 60 and like a 30. And to be quite honest, it's actually really good. Uh, I've been running it in this cocoa here. Picked this up today. Uh, I kind of like the caliber, but it kind of was, you know, on and off for me. So I figured it was like, you know, like I'd have some pods go bad really fast. And then it started auto firing. So that was kind of the end of it. I don't mind my uh, double tin here. But I gotta say, the flavor is definitely really good. You know, you definitely get a good amount of banana flavor, but it's not overbearing, and you do get like the juiciness of the strawberry. And for 60 milligram, you'd think, oh wow, that'd be really harsh. But it's really not as harsh as you would think. I don't know what it is that they did differently. Um, it's just 30, mill 30 milliliters, 60 milligram. Uh, I do know that they have, um, that they also came out with like pre-filled, um, like the disposables that I saw that my shop had. But I figured I'll just get the juice because if I like it, awesome. If not, then I can pass it along rather than a disposable, which I don't know if you really want to pass along a disposable to somebody that's kind of disgusting. Yeah, it tastes, you know, like a, a really good strawberry banana. I've you know, I've never had a strawberry banana in salt, and I gotta say, it definitely fits the profile. You know, it hits, you know, the flavor on the cocoa, which I've experiencing, is really good. Um, you know, normally I run my Orion pods, but I'm pretty much out of those currently, and I'm just waiting to order some more so I figured I'll pick up one of these and you know because I know the flavor is really good but I've just had such bad experiences with some of the pods that I figured I'd try the cocoa pods on a cocoa device nice little pocketable device I always like having a little stealthy stealthy on the go on the go vape yeah it's really tasty I figured I'd go over some of the other stuff I've been running. Um, here's a quick little update on the channel. I know you, hopefully some of you all have witnessed the update that I've done for the Hog XL and the uh, Valhalla 40 millimeter. Um, just a quick little update on that little gap. Uh, Vapor's Cloud has put out a, um, an announcement that it's the 510 pin within the actual mod. It's uh, it's too long, so they're going to send out, hopefully, and get manufactured some shorter ones. It should fix the problem, which would be glorious. Because I do really like and enjoy this mod, but that does kind of bug me uh, a little bit. That flavor is just fucking popping. Uh... And the newest addition to my lineup, I got another slam piece here, uh, batch five, I think. I, I don't remember what it is, but it has a nice little turn switch, which I think these hit just a little bit harder than, um, per se, on this one, where it's just it's just a solid uh, copper, a solid yeah, little uh, insert, which I think gets a little... Um, it gets a little cruddy a little bit faster so it degrades how hard it hits but I've been running this 
I just picked it up today, so I, you know, I know all the slam pieces work. I know they hit, and I'm running one of my all-time favorite juices. This is uh, Down South uh, Melon Lime Punch. It's like a watermelon lime punch, and it's probably my all-time favorite e-liquid slash summer e-liquid because a watermelon lime just it's just like a perfect mixture it's not too much watermelon but it's and it's just a touch of the lime that it makes it just like a perfect mixture Phenomenal taste, phenomenal flavor. Obviously running it on the Asgard. I run the Asgards quite a bit. And then I picked up this little guy here. This is a little mod cover for the uh, Noisy Cricket. Kind of turns it into almost like a 25 millimeter. Um, I don't have anything in here, but this is the uh, Axial Pro um, on the uh, series deck, which you know, it's definitely a good vape. I do enjoy it. Um, but then I, I picked up a bunch of drip tips from Half Moon Mods, and those are fucking awesome. Like, look at that one. Isn't that just fucking cool? Running this on that uh, dang RDA uh, 0.09 at 110 watts. Some uh, what are you, uh, sad boy blueberry jam, shit's fucking delicious. Some cool little cotton candy one, Just a bunch of cool ass shit. Let's see what else? Yeah, that's really all. Kind of all I got. Um, also, I'm looking at doing a uh, spring cleaning uh, potential juice giveaway. Um, I'll have more info on that in probably an upcoming video. But I figured I'd just give a quick little shout out to this Loon Juice. Uh, you know, rep in Minnesota where I'm from, which is awesome. You know, just overall, just a really good strawberry banana. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I really got. Hope you're all doing well. Enjoy your Thursday. Keep on being thirsty. Just keep on vaping. Keep on vaping safely. Until next time. Peace.